What is going on, people? This topic deserves its own video away from those live stream breakdowns I'll be working on, but Steven just addressed the biggest question in the Ashes of Creation community to date. When we can expect Alpha 2? Their highlighted question in this month's live stream came straight from YouTube, asking if Alpha 2 was months away or years, or even if Steven could give any indication whatsoever on the timetable. You know, this is a this is a common question. Uh, desiring uh, minds wish to know. Um, we are not years away from Alpha Two, um, but also Alpha Two is not right around the corner. Um, you know, as a as a public project, as as a project that is um, that is visible from the outside during its development, it's important that we execute well uh, during these testing phases. And early on in the project, you know, we we made I made some missteps in um, in when we were anticipating coming to certain testing periods. Um, you know, obviously, I have learned a considerable amount over what it takes to to build these games over the last six years, and we made a, a promise to the community that we would not give dates again in the future unless we were very certain that we were going to hit those dates or at least be very close to hitting them. And so, you know, as a result of that, um, we have our internal schedule, uh, we have our internal milestones, you know, we have our, our production roadmap that we operate from, and. Um, the teams operate very well um, from these expectations internally as well. Um, but to answer that question, no, we're not years away from Alpha 2. Um, <clears throat> uh, internally, you know, we are going to be doing some testing um, probably late this year and um, early next year as it relates to Alpha 2. And Alpha 2 is going to be, you know, kind of um, a slow roll out of testing. So um, our desire is to get in as quickly as possible, test some of the core systems and loops that we've integrated, you know, f since our alpha one um, and get those vetted uh, by player feedback um, and experience uh, that we can iterate upon essentially and get, um, get an opportunity. And that's gonna be all public, right? You guys know that alpha two is a, a non nda environment testing. Um, but prior to Alpha 2, uh, we will test some more spot-oriented testing um, with some of the Alpha 1 testers and or PI leading up to what would eventually become the Alpha 2 launch. Um, we'll probably start with PI so that we have a smaller group and then we'll add on to it with our spot testing with Alpha 1 users. And then as we're ready, we'll bring in Alpha 2 users and then, you know, then we'll go more public with a big... Um, yeah, Stuff. and 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 you know, I think all of us have experienced. So all of us have experienced launches of games or testing platforms that we felt needed more time um, from a from a consumer from a player's perspective. Um, and um, you know, our approach, our philosophy is that uh, essentially the game will be ready when it's ready. We're not striving for perfection. We're striving to achieve what the core loop is anticipated to be, uh, what we've promised, what we're building right now. Um, that is the goal. And, and we understand just how important it is to succeed during these testing periods and obviously for launch because MMOs traditionally really only get one stab at that launch. Although this is not what a lot of us were hoping for to hear timeline wise, this is great news as we don't have to keep guessing month after month leading through the rest of this year on when to expect Alpha 2. And we now know that we can potentially jump into Alpha 2 late this year or early next year. Keep in mind though that things could get delayed and this timeline could get pushed back depending on any development hiccups. But this is something I was not expecting to hear today and I'm very happy that Intrepid finally addressed this question. So now I can sleep a little better knowing that I have to milk out content for another year. Leading up to Alpha 2, you can expect a rollout of testing starting with the PI testers, eventually Alpha 1 and then Alpha 2, which is amazing. They're going to slowly roll it out for you, which is kind of what I expected. And they said that it's not going to be under NDA, which is we all knew, which just reconfirmation is great. So I don't, yeah, that's all I got. Are you guys excited to finally have a timeline on when to expect Alpha 2? Drop a comment down below. And if you are new to Ashes and have yet to create an account, feel free to use my referral link in the description below where you can jump in on the forums, buy some cosmetics, or just hang out until you can finally step foot into the world of Vera. Otherwise, be sure to click that subscribe button, hit that thumbs up, 
Turn on the bell for notifications and stay tuned for a lot more to come.